All right, gonna be taking a look at INPX right now. Requested over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live, our live show. That's what we're doing right here. I'm taking a look at the time and sales. Again, this is over on Investors Hangout, taking a look at the time, price, and volume for each individual trade uh, at your fingertips, completely free. It's 30 days. You can go back 30 days to look at each individual trade. So it's a really helpful tool. And why would I say this? Is because this is the information that I use when I do uh, my chart analysis. So right now, over here on Investors Hangout, the buy rating, you're going to have it currently at a hold that's with a three average recommendation. And taking a look, it's going to be one analysis uh, reporting. Number of analysis reporting, number one, you get to one. There's only one, and that one says it's a hold. So it uh, looks like that's a lone soldier out there. Uh, INPX right now, we're going to be looking at the chart now. Currently trade at $0.38. Cents, the first time that we've looked at this, all the blue lines that I put in here are going to be representing the resistance and support levels. I know some people like to put them in red and, and green and yellow and all fancy colors. I kind of like to keep it at blue, all one color to kind of give you guys an idea of the levels. Right now, 37 cents. You guys are going to be looking at resistance levels at 40, 45, and 50. Uh, a 50. A break of 50, in my personal opinion, is going to really set this one up for the next level. However, the last few weeks here with IPN, uh, INPX, I do like the trading uh, according to the daily chart uh, coming off this bottom around the 21 cents in the beginning of September. I'm assuming that something must have happened here around this area for this one to really start taking off. So uh, you got that momentum pushing up underneath this one, breaking through that 37, uh, 37 area for resistance level, getting all the way back up. 20 day simple moving average right now. You guys are watching this thing pull back down. I firmly believe if everything repeats itself here in the chart. That volume yesterday really started picking up again. Yesterday had 3 million shares traded, 5 million for the average in the last 20 days. So definitely, definitely, definitely nice setup here. Um, however, again, coming off that 20 day simple moving average, we're gonna watch that momentum to push you through 40. You guys push through that 40. My personal opinion, 50, 45 and 50 will follow up fairly quick and hitting that pretty quick as well. So again, remember that 40 mark seems to be a, a, a roll here. Again, right here, here. Here and here. So you guys have a lot of a lot of time sitting at 40. Get back above it. Uh, looking at the 20-day simple moving average at 33 does seem to be a solid support line, especially back over here on August, uh, October 3rd. October 3rd. And so then right here, 33 for the 20-day again. And then the 29 actually. I know we'll call it 30 for the 30-day. Let's go ahead and put in our notes here. And that's going to be 10, 12, uh, 37. 37 cents current price. We're going to put resistance level at 40, 45, and 50. Support. Okay, the support right here is going to be 30. I'm going to put 37, even though that's where it's at right now. Uh, 33, and then on the 30 for the 30 day simple moving average. Again, resistance 40, 45, and 50. Support 37, 33, and 30. Watch for the break. Of 40 again you guys break through that 40 i think 45 is going to come quick and then 45 to 50 is going to come quick and then right here i'm going to put the must hold at 30. at 30. okay so the must hold area for support here is going to be at that 30 again 30 cents 30 day simple moving average that kind of worked out kind of nice there for inpx so again, if you follow this stock, INPX, I definitely encourage you to head over to investorshangout.com and click on live. When you click on the live, that's going to bring you to the live show. And that right there is going to show you the date and time up in the top of the next show. So if you miss this one, I definitely encourage you to participate in the next one.